Hi, in this video, I will show you to work with places and place types in MapWay Studio. So let's get started and go to the studio. So in MapWay Studio, we are in the places section, and this is where we're going to be able to see and edit all the places. Let's start by creating one. So we use the buttons here for new point and new polygon. So I create a point now, and I will simply click on the map to say where that place should be created. I can give it a name, and I can give it a place type either by choosing from the place type inside of my organization or by browsing the catalog. And if I find one that I like, then we'll automatically create it inside of your organization so you can modify it in the future. So we have a lot of parameters, uh, if it's published or not, um, extra keywords that you can use for search, for example, inside of the search engine, uh, all the translations. If you want to have multiple languages, check the video about how to do that for venues. You can have a title, and the title is what is actually displayed on the map. Um, and the subtitle, which will also be visible inside of the search engine. So, for example, this is play CCC, um, and there CCC123, so that we can make a difference with the name. We can also specify on which universes those places will be visible. So there will be also a dedicated video on that make the place visible, searchable, clickable, and add all kind of extra information that you would want to, to get so that you can create all those beautiful views about places in the standard MapWise interfaces. So next last thing, the style. So by default, the style of a place is inherited from the place style, but you can overwrite the data for each individual place. We'll come back on that for uh, in a minute. So here I'll, I'll save the I'll save the place and there it is. It's created and we see that it's using the title that we just that we just set. So we can also create a polygon and in the same way we'll click on the different edges of the polygon and click on the last um, on the last point to on the first point so that we close the polygon and we can create it in exactly the same the same fashion. Here I just need to to give some that. I already have it. I'm not going to give more details than that. What you see is that we also have multiple options here for uh, for display. We'll uh, we'll see that sometimes whenever you zoom out, uh, some of the places will uh, disappear. We can also have control about the overlap. Uh, if you want to have the icon overlap or the text overlap, to make sure that actually this um, get displayed even if you get the um, through the through the zoom level, uh, and also potentially show the invisible or the audience published. When uh, you want to edit the, um, the places, you can use the batch edit function, which allows you to download all the places as an Excel file. And then you will be able to, uh, to open that file in Excel and then create um, all the uh, modifications that, that you want. Uh, so you have columns for all of the details that you uh, that you want to change, uh, and then you can re-upload the Excel file to have those the modification taken uh, taken care of in the in the Mapwise import. Now we said that there were so place types, and so the place types are back at the organization level. So there in the menu you will find the place types, and you will find all the types that have been created inside of your organization. So you can see all the details and you can potentially change colors uh, or style about those uh, about those places and then they will be propagated to all the places of that uh, of that organization so making sure that you get get consistency across all the places that you that you want now we also have the option of adding a specific data model to those to add custom properties so if you want the lab for example to have uh, my own id uh, property, for example, that you would want to add um, so that the developers can have their own uh, logic on top of that. And you say this is a string, it has the default value, it's going to match a regular expression. Uh, you can also make, make it required or not. So in that case, you simply save the uh, place type. And when you go back into your venue and into your places, and if you go for the place that is given the uh, the type that we just modified, so in that case, there we go. Let's find the lab, which was here. 
So then when we go down inside of the edition panel, we'll actually find the field that have been specified here. Um, those fields will not be uh, shown anywhere, but they can be edited using MapWare Studio. And then they will be saved in the custom data so that developers can use those into their, into their own apps. So that was it for the demo of the, um, of the place types. Thanks for watching.